Oh, so this one got sparked by what I was talking on a live stream with someone. Oh, their live stream. The idea of we should be freaking damn happy that we have Power Rangers the way it is right now. I know it's is we're demanding too much. I might be demanding too much, and I have lots of videos that shows I demand too much. But I'm just trying to say, with the booted bull crap of the ones that have been replaced, like all the seasons of Power Rangers that were get rid of. It would be nice that they actually try to do something kind of like what happened with Toei and Akiba Ranger, where it's for adults and teenagers, you know? I mean, yeah, they gave back to us by movie form. That's awesome to give back to us by action figures and toys and stuff. And also at times in the episodes as well, if we're lucky, they'll give us a nice little throwback. But and plus they say it's for damn kids. It's like, yeah, kids. Power Rangers has always been for kids. Well, that's true. But in the beginning, not only kids were watching Power Rangers. And that's the shock value I got when I watched the parody of Power Rangers from Chai Entertainment. Rest in peace. Actually, it's Chai Production, but still rest in peace, you guys. At least he's a doctor and the other one's doing successful work. I'm glad the Chai brothers are still... They, they're successful, but YouTube and Saban smacked them right in the damn face, even though they don't deserve it. They didn't deserve it. So it's really shock value, the fact of teenagers in the 90s were watching Power Rangers as well. They didn't mean to, but they made it to the point of where it was content that was good for kids and teenagers even was okay watching it. Sadly, you guys departed from that and decided to say kids only, kids only, kids only. And Toei, I mean, I know it's Japan. They have to go as fast as possible because they don't have as much viewers as we have in America. But still, I wish they went with what Toei got. Toei actually makes sure everyone is connected. Everyone watches the show. Everyone has something to watch. Kids have something to watch. Teenagers have something to watch. Even the adults don't see Power Rangers as a chore. But instead, hey, you just say it's for kids. Good for you, I guess. But like many other people said, when it comes to adults who are actually the ones buying the toys for the kids, you kind of have to do something that actually makes it okay instead of 35 bucks for a measly sword for a measly rock guitar sword blaster not to mention the fact of all the repaints of the megazords (laughs) i'm sorry man but happy with what we got and way back in the beginning they were able to get 40 episodes a year Now we have 20 episodes a year, which apparently is stressful. And I'm like, oh, (laughs) it's not really stressful. I mean, oh, you could get rid of it in a whole entire year and have a brand new. I mean, I don't see the freaking damn stupid marketable ploy of, oh, it's a smart idea doing budgeting that we turned into two seasons. I don't see that bull crap at all. I personally don't. I mean, yes, you might be losing crap when it comes to the whole molds and everything, but it's better to continue on, darling. To have a brand new stuff next year instead of, well, it's brand new, but it's still similar to the one that you had previously. <laughs> yeah, I think it's better to have a better toy line instead of having to do more repaints and more re-releases than actually just have brand new content. That's for the TV show itself. Should I? We should just be happy that it's on Nickelodeon, that we have someone for it. Which I'm like, yeah, and yeah. I mean, the good news is that Nickelodeon is okay. The only messed up part is Nickelodeon treats Ninja Turtles the same way as freaking Cartoon Network treats Transformers. But at least they're getting treated better. But still, Cartoon, well, actually, no, no, no. Technically, Cartoon Network still treats Transformers. It's a big debate here because Cartoon Network treats Power, I mean, 
Transformers, they don't give them episodes. They don't give promos that, oh, Transformers, R.I.D. is coming up next. Or check out Transformers XDs on Saturday. Or they don't do crap like that. But at least you're able to get it on on demand. And at least you're able to watch it. Now let's go to Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon doesn't allow you to watch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or Power Rangers then on a specific day. Yeah, you're only wa- able to watch Ninja Turtles on Sunday. If you miss it, like I did, because they had a one-hour special, too bad, you suck, dumbass! And same thing with Power Rangers. Too bad, you suck, dumbass! But at least on Sunday, we put it on, if you're lucky. Yeah, I mean, really be happy that Nickelodeon is a place for Power Rangers. And they're being truly stingy with Power Rangers where you couldn't actually watch Power Rangers if you accidentally miss it or you have something you're doing. And seriously, man, I wish Fox, I wish Fox get out their bull crap. And well, technically it's not even Fox's fault. It's the freaking damn government and the rules and regulations. It's their fault that we don't get to have Fox kids back and resurrected. And it's their fault that chances are um, Vortex died. <laughs> and even if Vortex actually lived, the suckiest part even worse is the fact of Saban's most likely won't even be able to actually put a new Power Rangers series on there. And they were, had a rough time to even keep Power Rangers Lost Galaxy there. Should we actually be happy with what we got? Yes and no, personally. I mean, the writing, because it's for the kids, the writing totally sucks balls. I mean, the writing is okay, but yeah, kind of like what happened with 2010 of we're doing a re-release of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and making it lame as hell. Hoya! And I'm like, no, I'm going to freaking have Super Sentai. Yep, I, <laughs> and Shikinger was the best thing I've ever done. Holy crap, that was the best idea in the damn world. And that's what they're basically doing now is just most likely pushing me further away. So I'm like, Super Sentai, you rule. High five. While Power Rangers, I'm like, I like your enthusiasm. I like kind of what you're doing here. But on another hand, the only thing you're doing is just adding lots and lots of ammo to actually make me make fun of you. And that's the sad part, because once upon a time, you guys used to go toe-to-toe with Super Sentai, where I'm like, hmm, um, Power Ranger Zeo versus O-Ranger. Power Ranger Zeo, that rules. Power Rangers Turbo versus Car Ranger. Power Rangers Turbo. Um, Power Rangers Lost Galaxy versus Ginga Man. Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. It's like, yes, you guys used to be able to beat them. Now it turns to the point of where it's like you're barely getting a chance. What's even worse is that Power Rangers Mega Force made me say, oh my gosh, I didn't like how Go Saviors went, but because Mega Force was even worse, Go Saviors wins. Holy shit. That's the first time in the freaking damn world Power Rangers screwed themselves over. And I'm like, um,. Super Sentai wins. Yay! I'm like, yeah, this is horrible. (laughs) Horrible. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That's for a freaking damn Ninja Steel. Ninja Steel is kind of... Right now, it's a tie. We... I don't know if Ninja Steel is going to win. I don't know. (laughs) I don't know at all. (laughs) <laughs> it's it's hard. It's hard right here now. It's hard. Because Ninja Steel is okay. It's pretty okay. It's pretty okay. But the messed up part is that Ninja, they might win this one too. <laughs> they might freaking them win this one. It sucks. It really does suck. But yeah, um, Power Rangers is going down the drain. Right now, it's life support. Right now, that's what they are on right now. They're on life support. I really wish Hub was still alive right now because Hub right now would be very cool even though, yeah, they're going to make us pay a lot of money to get that, but still. 
I would prefer having Power Rangers somewhere where they're like 50 episodes a year, hell yeah, and everything else. Not this right here. I mean, I'm glad Power Rangers is still alive. I'm kind of glad about it. Technically, I would say if freaking Sabans wants to at least make it decent, you know, make it a compromise, bastards. Make a good compromise. If you're going to freaking do this 20 season, 20 episodes per year, bring Common Rider over here, damn it. It's like, yeah, if we're going to get sacrificed and get this crap of stasis, at least bring another thing into the mix. Freaking bring Common Rider over here. Because at least the good news is that, yes, I know, Common Rider is going to suffer the same thing as well. Where they're like, oh, we're going to do 20 episodes a year for that too. And I'm like, that's fine. As long as we actually have something to combat this whole crap of doing 20 episodes a year, I'm fine with you screwing over Common Rider as well. I just really hope that Common Rider is a big success and it comes to the point of where you guys s slap you each other in the face and say, you know what? This is doing so well. Common Rider is going to get 40 episodes a year. That's what I would really like to hear. And it's like, oh, well, that is freaking damn cool. Thank you. Thank you for at least giving us a little bit more than what you're giving us right now. Because the whole, I mean, you have to make a good compromise. I mean, yes, we're compromising right now, but I would like to have one extra thing to actually make it to the point of where I'm like, okay, I think that actually does it to make it pretty decent of a deal. I like right now, it's like, yeah, we just only got one show, 20 episodes a year versus on your off time. It's like, yeah, on your off time, you could bring in a common writer season. Yeah, on your off time, you could actually bring a common writer season. And it would be very, very cool because right now we have nothing to watch and it would be cool to actually have the kids have a Kamen Rider series that they're like, holy crap, what is this? Oh my gosh, that's awesome. And bring in the toys. <laughs> bring in the toys because that's what you can do. And plus, depending on which one you choose, you can actually use the freaking damn molds for other things. That means you won't actually lose money. The reason why you guys are not going to do it is because, well, you guys are freaking up tightwads. <laughs> it's like you're tightwads and, oh, man. I know I, this is just a freaking damn rant, but still, be happy what we got. I really don't think I'm happy with what we got here. I mean, yes, it's for the freaking damn kids. And even for the kids, I'm personally thinking it's messed up that kids don't get to have the same exact quality we had as kids kids deserve to have 40 episodes a year kids deserve to see every single damn season you shouldn't skip picking choosing which one actually is good and worth a lot of money you shouldn't do that because then you're gonna have what happened in super mega force where you skipped freaking die ranger which yeah you know, i would guess that was a long time coming and not only that but you actually put up other stuff that Damn, man, the kids are most likely scratching their head and be like, who are those Rangers? We didn't see those Power Rangers before. Yeah, um, and also screw you for making it someday where I have to actually explain to my kids who are those Power Rangers that you just saw. Yeah, thanks for that. And depending on what you do for Geoldier, then you're kind of going to get screwed on that one, but most likely you're going to ditch. And it's really messed up ditching freaking seasons. That's the real main point here is. And it's kind of sucky that freaking Netflix here won't even give a chance. I know. I know. I'm asking too much for them to risk. But here's the messed up point that makes me be like a total jerk. It's like, OK, well, if it's a total risk, why are you streaming all the Power Ranger seasons? Case closed, bastards. I mean, if it's a total risk, then why the hell are you having the freaking Power Ranger seasons in there in the first place? Then get rid of Power Ranger seasons. It's like, if it's not going to make you money, then get rid of the Power Ranger seasons. I'm sorry to be a jerk, but that's what I have to say is it's worth the freaking damn risk, personally. I know. And uh, yeah, it turns out that when it comes to filming in California, it's very, very costly. That That's, that's a bummer. <laughs> Yeah, but if they film in freaking New Zealand, 
that's going to be a bummer too because then it's like, oh well, the power both Power Ranger freaking filmers are butting heads because well, they're both in each other's way and not p two people can. I guess technically you can because there was a Super Sentai who filmed at the same time as a Power Ranger season and they didn't butt heads and get in the way. So I guess maybe they could be two film crews. But it will suck if even Super Sentai is doing it again. Or it's like, yeah, so now it's three people in the same exact space. All I really want is just for Netflix. I know, it's a risk that they don't want to take. And if it fails, which is like, it's Power Rangers. Number one, it's Power Rangers. Number two, this will be directed to freaking damn teenagers and adults because, well, it's a freaking skip season. If it's a skip season and it basically doesn't give you any money because, well, the kids will most likely not buy it and you're like, it's for the kids, it's for the kids. It's like, yeah, it's for the damn kids. Then I don't see why not actually allowing this TV series, this freaking season, to be for freaking damn adults. And you can copy and paste what happened in GoBusters. Just copy and paste the script. Maybe even make it related to Power Rangers RPM in a way. It would be kind of cool. I mean, that would be awesome. But apparently, it's too much of a risk for Netflix. And I'm still going to state, Netflix, if it's too much of a risk, then why do you have Power Rangers seasons in the first place? The worst part about it is the fact of where they're not going to do 50 episodes a year, which, yeah, 50 episodes a year sounds fine. And apparently you might have a limit of 16 episodes. But the thing is, is that I guess we'll be fine. It's like, yeah, really 16 episodes of it. Lots of people will freaking download it. Lots of people are going to watch it and everything. Then continue on. Do 16 more, do 16 more, do 16 more. And you got two. (laughs) <laughs> it's like yeah then you got two and maybe if you want you make the freaking movie and other stuff so it kind of makes the point of to not do it is a dumbass move in the world because with go busters we gotta admit some of the adults most likely quit some of the teenagers just most likely quit but as soon as they see super sentai there is a possibility that the teenagers, and not to mention, but talk about the freaking damn gossip and everything. Lots of people will gossip and say, dude, no Power Rangers is lame as hell, but you got to see the season. And that's what's going to happen. It's going to be a total wildfire where lots of people are going to see Go Busters and going to be flipping their lids and saying, how is this a Power Rangers season? This is an awesome season. Power Rangers is lame as fuck. How the frick did this happen? And that's what you, that's most likely what's going to happen. I believe it's going to be a a major freaking wildfire outcry that then most likely Netflix will see that the risk was actually beneficial and then they will try to get Tokujers up in this piece. And then after Tokuger, which Tokuger technically should be, you know, Tokuger should kind of actually be for the kids though. It's like that one actually should totally be for the kids. But at least the good news is that they will have the formula of what Toei does with Super Sentai. So they can actually make it for the kids, for teenagers, for adults. And then there we go. We got freaking something awesome. And it's kind of funny. Some actually ask, why isn't it on Nickelodeon, though? Well, Nickelodeon has their own Power Rangers season. Depending on which one they choose, or they're still in, there's like, depend on how they go. Like, for instance, let's, let's go all the way back to, like, 2013. Yeah, I think 2013 works. So, they picked Dino Charge. So, Dino Charge is running, but also with Dino Charge, Netflix gave a chance and actually did Go Busters. So, Dino Charge is on Nickelodeon. You don't really have to cry and say there's no Power Rangers season. It's not like I'm saying, oh, well... Frick Nickelodeon. I'm just saying, when it comes to it, why not have two Power Ranger seasons going on at the same time? And for those who actually are crying still and saying, but Power Rangers deserve to be on Nickelodeon, then we'll put Go Busters at Nick at night because it's supposed to be for teenagers and adults. I mean, it's the original content, kind of the original content. So <laughs> if it was depressing in Japan, 
Do you think kids really deserve to watch a depressing Power Rangers season? Usually when it comes to Sabans, they make the depressed Power Rangers season into something better. This time around, we're actually copying and pasting because they don't give a shit about this freaking Power Rangers season. As for um, Tokuger, depending on if it actually beneficial for them and they're like, holy shit, and there's lots of figures released. Who knows? They might even get Megazords for the Legacy toy line. Who knows? And then we get to Tokuger. And in Tokuger, on the other hand, this one's different from the usual. This one's different because it's for the kids. It's really actually is for the kids. So Tokuger, on the other hand, I don't know what to do besides just saying, hey, do exactly what they do with Transformers for Cartoon Network. Put it on way early in the morning. As for everyone else, and make sure you, yeah, it's like make sure for all of these, put the stamp logo of, you can watch all the seasons on that, all the episodes on Netflix now. There you go. <laughs> it's like, yeah, so they don't have to wait. I don't know, for Nick at Night, it's kind of weird. I guess they might have to do like one episode a week. So they have to choose a time in Nick at Night that they'll like, okay, here we go. We put it there. Anyways. I'm just saying, when it comes straight down to it, there could be a chance. And I know Netflix is most likely going to be a bastard and say they're not heroes. But if you're not heroes, then why do you have Young Justice 3 going on? Young Justice Season 3 going on. If you're not a hero, then there's many other shows that I'm like, well, why do you have those there? It's time for Netflix to decide, man. It really is. Again, happy with what we got personally if i wasn't having fun and lots of people not watching oh well, lots of people not even caring if i actually do an episode review but there's many people who are still watching it so it's like why not watch it i not see what they do and hope the freaking god that it actually ends right and besides i'm keeping tallies you know i'm still keeping tallies so Ninja versus Ninja Steel. I need to know who wins. As for people who are like, what about freaking K. Ruger versus Dino Charge? I think K. Ruger wins because Dino Charge just by accident erased Dino Thunder. Yeah, they kind of erased Dino Thunder and there still is a little bit of a question mark on if they actually got rid of the original Power Rangers too. There's still a question mark on that. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't freaking damn know. And plus, wait, if dinosaurs are still alive and everything, then what happened with the saber-toothed tiger and the mammoth or mastodon? That's a question I don't know. I'm, I've, I've talked long enough. Thank you for watching, folks.